Okay, good morning everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Happy Holidays. So I got some questions about the indoor greenhouse and uh, it's about the grow lights. So I buy these four foot grow lights <clears throat> right here. I guess you can pull back and you can see them. And the reason why I buy them is because you can chain them on the ends from one light to the other. So you only need one connection over there. Uh, on the power strip to actually use these lights. And people are going to ask why it's pink in here because of the grow lights. Um, so Swiss chard, I uh, harvested most of it yesterday for uh, cooking and stuff. I used the, the light leaf stuff to uh, put in salads. And of course, there's some carrots down over there and radishes and stuff. And cherry tomatoes, they go all the way up to the roof. Don't believe me. See that? <laughs> They're all the way up the roof to tell them I keep a uh, small um, keep a small uh, temperature gauge and humidifier humidity checker so in here it's 75 degrees it's 65 in the house and this keeps a track of the, uh, the humidity so that my first look at it in the morning I can see whether it's okay or low or whatever and I've been doing some experiments with uh, growing some pole beans. These are purple variety. You can see these are, you can see I'm already getting some right here in this plant. Some of the others, these are about six weeks old, these plants. They're starting to flower now. And one thing I like about beans and tomatoes, like these tomatoes, all you have to do is take and just, when they got flowers on them, just shake them like this a little bit every day and they still pollinate. The same thing with these beans, you just kind of do this when they're flowering and they still pollinate and they produce their own beans. They don't need any insects or anything to pollinate. So there's another one down there. So these, these are the purple variety. It's not, it's not just the lights that are doing it. These are purple and when you, when you cook them they turn green. It's supposed to be just like regular green beans, but we'll see. And <clears throat> of course I'm, I gotta get, make some more microgreens because these are just about gone. We had a couple of salads this week. That's why all the tomatoes are gone. All the, all the, uh, the, I got a bunch of green ones right here. You see how they just bunch real quick? You see that right there? These will turn golden yellow and I'll be able to eat them again. They get about this color you see over here where you can see this right here. Now that's still not ready to eat, but got new batches coming. Anyway, I thought you'd uh, be interested to see the, uh, the grow lights. You can just melt them from the shells. And really, you can just buy a shelf and you can just mount these with tie wraps, which I've done um, down below here. You see, I just I mounted them with tie wraps. Just some tie wraps hanging from the, the rack. Because I really didn't like the, the height on the other ones. Of course, you can use the chains that come with all that stuff. They cost about the full spectrum grow lights like this one. They're 50 waters. They cover four feet, and they, they're about 40 bucks a piece. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays.